Hello, hello, it's Ruby Burrito, and welcome to today's video. It is Tuesday, February 14th, so happy... Happy Valentine's Day to anybody who celebrates, otherwise, happy Tuesday. We have some new content. We have release notes, and we have some Black Lion changes. The first thing I'm going to say is, I'm going to say there's a free item available. Make sure there's an icon up here. Anytime you see this present, there's a free item available. Easiest way to find it, they usually have it here. If you don't see it here, if you go to promotions, they're very often the first thing up here. So you can get a total makeover kit, and there you have it. Before I jump into the rest of it, as always, thank you everybody who's been supporting me for all the likes, comments, and people who have been subscribing. I appreciate all the support. If you are looking to join a guild or want to come play, have questions, anything in game, feel free to send me a mail. My character's name is Ruby Burrito, just like my YouTube. So, let's get started with the Black Lion trading post, or the trading company changes. First is, of course, the free makeover kit, and then the Equinox appearance package. So you can see that there's actually three things here. You have the Equinox Wings Backpack and Glider Combo, the Equinox Outfit, and then the Appearance Package gives all of them. So I wanted to take a look at what this looked like in-game because the picture looked pretty cool. And I'm not going to lie, I like that quite a bit. Back item looks pretty sick. And the glider, I mean, these are going to change colors but the, the because this is the dyes for my glider and back item. But that looks pretty good. What are the uh, Equinox weapons? Ooh. I really think that this might be worth getting, if not just for the Equinox weapons, because... I mean, look at that. That's just the sword. Where's the great sword? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. There it is. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so I might end up... I had some gems saved up for March sales, but I, I think I might end up grabbing this appearance package because those weapons look awesome. Um, next is going to be the items in stock. We've got the romantic gift pack here, which gives you a bouquet of roses and a box of chocolates. If we go back to the main menu here, you have the wedding preparation package. So you have the wedding attire outfit. Name change contract, total makeover kit, bouquet of roses, and teleport to friends. The Wings of Love is back as well. You got a glider and the backpack skin. Those are pretty cool. There are a bunch of other items that have come in. And now we're going to... It's not. Sh I don't believe it's in the release notes. Yeah, they're not in the release notes, so... Let's just look at the promotions. We've got Black Lion Instant Level 80 Ticket. These we've all gone through. Elonian Beasts Die Kit. Blue Shift. Primordius. Metallurgic. Lion's Arch Rebuild. Timies. Solar and Lunar Die Kit. I'm very... I don't know that I'm familiar with those. I wonder if those are new or newer. This is from... These are from the last one. The last drop... Or the last new content. The Starcolor Warhorn and the Wolf Raider. Inquest Overseer Chair. Love this chair. Canton Cuckoo Spring Amounts Pack. Canton Tigris Griffin Mounts Pack. There's quite a bit of stuff that is on sale or back into the shop right now. You can set, sort by discounts. These are the items discounted currently. Now, let's jump into the patch notes. I'm not going to cover the profession balance notes in this. Uh, in the general, you have unlocked outfits, gliders, mounts do one of these unlocked outfits gliders mounts miniatures and mail character carriers can now be favorited by clicking the heart that appears in the top right of the skin in the corresponding equipment tab so mounts randomized mounts this is what this is going to be talking about so if i hover over the shimmer wing mount i can Add or remove it from my favorites. And then I'm guessing, can I search by favorite? No, I cannot. I'm imagining that they're going to change that so that you can see all of your favorites. But 
A new randomized checkbox has been added to outfits, gliders, mounts, miniatures, and mail carriers. When this option is enabled, players will see the following behavior. Each time a glider amount is summoned, a random favorited skin will be used. If no favorites have been set, a random unlocked skin will be used. Each time you load into a map, random favorited outfits, miniatures, and mail carriers will be selected and applied. And then again, if nothing has been selected, a random one will be applied. So I'm just going to click that because I think that's awesome. A new button that allows players to randomize their skins. Yeah, they're just saying that this is here. You can also randomize... If I go to wardrobe... And randomize your appearance. Well, that's kind of cool. I have a lot of different combinations that I can use. And you can just keep clicking this until you find something you like. You can play with that another time. Players can now choose to randomize their appearance when using total makeover kits and self-style -hair, self hair kits. Improve the loading performance of the wardrobe and fishing tabs. World v. World. The rewards for attacking and defending towers, keeps, and stone mist castle have been revamped. Players will earn increased rewards. They don't actually go into the rewards, but something important to note here. This went live today. They disabled the Harvest Temple Strike mission today. This is If you go to the forums, this is a very handy thing that they've added. So they dropped a lot of this uh, five hours ago, six hours ago, give or take. And then an hour ago, they disabled the objective scaling rewards. So it, they're now up ever since nine minutes ago. But that's definitely something that you should note because I, I was playing a little bit of World v. World before this. And people were asking what changed because they didn't see any changes. And that's because it wasn't active when they were asking. So... That's going to be it for this. Um, I haven't actually had the chance to play around with the World v. World changes. I'm going to make a video probably sometime next week when I have had the chance. I will be out of... I won't be able to make videos for the next couple days. Um, but I'm hoping that we get a little bit more information a week from today when we're a week away from the content. So, as always... Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you want to join the guild or have questions for me, uh, leave a comment or draw, uh, give me a mail in game. And thank you guys so much for all of the support, liking, subscribing, and commenting. It means a lot. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for today. And we'll see you in the next one.